switching call at about 7.30 in the morning and it was a gentleman in his mid-50s that had a, a heart attack and had been given the clot busting medicines and sent up to Calgary, which is our usual procedure. And what had happened is the gentleman, he got 10 minutes outside of town and he had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. So uh, that ambulance, uh, they started the resuscitation in the ambulance, so giving CPR and electrical shocks, defibrillation, turned back towards the hospital. And I happened to be the, the guy on call then. So they brought, uh, they brought him in and uh, we, we worked on him for a good, uh, well, probably hour and a half. And um, luckily we were able to successfully resuscitate him. So he actually happened to be the, the, uh, the grandfather of, uh, two of um, two of the students in our judo club. His daughter-in-law is one of my wife's best friends in, in town. And for me to be able to, you know, I see him at a lot of the judo tournaments when he comes to watch his grandkids. And, um, you know, and I, he's been over to our house for dinner and I've seen him out in the community. It, it's, uh, it, it's really, um, heartwarming to know that you know and not just me that obviously the entire team was able to make you know such a difference to him and uh, it was great actually I remember the day when he finally came back from Calgary and Edmonton with from all his procedures and he had um, uh, and I called the paramedic that had dealt with him in the back of the ambulance and done CPR on him for 10 minutes as they drove back to hospital and the two other doctors that had you know that I called in that helped and were working on him and the lab people and so yeah and so we were, everybody came into the emergency room and hugged and had a great cry and everything about it and um, he kindly came and gave a speech at our uh, fund the next fundraiser for the health foundation and which I happened to be on the board of that at that time and uh, yeah and it was just you, you, you'll get those. I mean, obviously, city hospitals are able to resuscitate people. They, they do the same kind of quality work that we do, but they don't get to appreciate the fruits of their labor the way we do rurally. And, yeah, do you occasionally get a question about a rash in the grocery store? Yeah, you do. And But it's okay, because I, I can't get those experiences without getting the experience that I had with that patient. And to me, that's... I'm perfectly fine with that trade.